Uh, our executive producer, Scott, loves this show. Beyond Belief. Beyond Belief and loves this lady, Beyond Belief, with uh, good reason. Uh, she but plays interesting, the he came out and hugged her co-star, but didn't come out and hug her. Yes, which actually says more about Scott than we care to reveal. <laughs> she plays the vampire-loving vixen on the runaway hit Vampire Diaries, Candace Akala, like Dracula. Yes. Did I say it right? Is here to tell us uh, the fastest way to a vampire's heart. And whether or not it includes a silver dagger, here she is. Nice to see you. Hello, nice and to see you. And you said that you have learned a lot now about the methodology, because you're in the show, you're not a vampire. I'm not a vampire. But you're loving the vampires. But, oh, I love the vampires. All right, but they, <laughs> don't they ultimately convert you to vampireness? Well, no, I mean, it's different for every show. Like, it's different for True Blood and Twilight and for Vampire Diaries. For us, you have to uh, be bitten by a vampire, and then you have to die and then you have to drink a vampire's blood, and then you have 24 hours to feed There's so many on rules. humans. Oh, it's very it's complicated. complicated. It's very complicated. All right, we have prepared for you uh -huh. a vampire trivia thing. Oh, oh man. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay, who was the vampire? Here's the question number one, and you can keep score. Who was the vampire in the 1960s soap opera Dark Shadows? I actually know this one. Barbara Collins. Barnabas Collins, very Barbara. good. <laughs> Wow, I would Played have done by the noted Dr. John of the Freak. She's done the research. She's nice, done the research. Nice. There's the yeah. All right, in 1994, interview with a vampire. Who played Lestat? Tom Cruise. Very good. No way, you're too you're really low. good. You do love vampires. <laughs> you're really good. I'm what, trying not to cheat. <laughs> yeah, you know, what, what remedy will keep a vampire away from you but won't kill them? Garlic. Love garlic. Garlic. Wow. Three very, three. very. Bad you're really. Three for three. Oh, look at that nice graphic. And what, <laughs> that is, yes. That is good. Yes. And was there any kind of like vampire boot camp where they explained all this stuff to you? There's many questions that go on. But no, there was no boot camp. We're just kind of learning as we go. And you know how in some, like for example, uh, police dramas, they have maybe a former officer come and provide like expertise. <laughs> Who's the expert? That's hilarious. Who is the expert? <laughs> like some funny. guy who, you know, is a vampire expert? I mean, how do you know this stuff? No, well, it's, what's funny enough, actually my best friend took a course on vampires and so yeah she goes to a, yeah no she goes to a design college and that was one of the extra cur curricular courses yeah. so I would call her up and be like okay so what you know where did they originate and How she kind of gave me a rundown yeah very uh, we're, so, we're gonna look at a clip in a second but before we do this is a big episode for your character tonight is it not yes can you tell us semi what happens well I'm um, I'm throwing a party for for Damon my bad vampire boyfriend and um, and just madness ensues. Mm. Ooh, yeah. that's you, know a good you are very well schooled, Candace. <laughs> uh, here's a brand new clip. It airs tonight right here. Look. Look, dungeon boy, I'm done being your little slave girl. You seriously hurt me, and I will be damned if you think. Oh my god. Where have you been? <laughs> Wait, so how does that work? <laughs> can you can you teach us that trick? I wish I knew that trick. <laughs> and be like, you need to let me cut the line to the bathroom right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, fantastic. But, um... That was yeah. pretty impressive. Here's one thing that we learned uh, from your co-star, Paul, who was here a few days ago, which people may not be aware of. whole show is shot on location in and around the Atlanta area. So do you like being away from the, the quote-unquote Hollywood bubble or, or not? Yeah, I think it's definitely easier to focus on just going to work and, and, and that's really all we do is we wake up and we go to our job and we go home and, and then maybe have barbecue over the weekend and, and it's pretty simple. And, and when did you come to be aware, maybe you haven't yet, because I remember with Dawson's Creek this happened, they filmed the whole thing, they didn't even know and then they came back, it's like, oh by the way, it's this huge hit show. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely similar to that. You know, we, we are in our own bubble, and, and so it is, it's nice to know and to hear that it, the show is, you know, people are enjoying it and, and, and watching it. And well, have fun. It sounds like a great experience for you. This is so sweet in real life. I know. And yet it it's really so is, uh, diabolical and mean on the show. <laughs> you can catch Vampire Diaries. It is here tonight at 8 o'clock. Do not miss it. How nice Madness to see you. Madness will ensue. Okay, Madness will ensue. <laughs> Thanks for coming Bye, Candace. Thank you. All right, coming up, we're going to tell